got a program? Hmm? Okay, April, you can sit down. And um, Welcome to this wonderful simcha, this happy occasion for Alyssa and her family. I'm Rabbi Julie Greenberg, and I have been working with Alyssa all year. We have delved deeply into a taste of Judaism. And the idea of a taste of Judaism is that she will have the rest of her life to continue to be a lifelong learner and explorer. She will find the place for Judaism within her and the place for her within Judaism. So this was a wonderful taste. And many times when we're doing a baby naming, we teach, if you are going to induct a baby into the Jewish covenant, you can't impose it on the baby unless it's going to be good for the baby. So it has to be a sweet covenant. And now today, as Alyssa comes of age and steps further into this covenant, she had to have a lot of voice and a lot of vision in shaping what this ceremony would look like so it would be sweet. And Alyssa, I know I've had a sweet time working with you, and I hope it's also been a pleasure for you as well. So Alyssa really had a sense of how she wanted to come of age, and what an amazing, what an amazing Thing you've created here, Alyssa, and your parents really listened to you. And here we are, a circle of witness and welcome for this coming of age. We are here to create sacred space. And we're going to offer a song 
you may be familiar with this or maybe not, you can always hum along because we're going to do it a few times. The words in the song you will hear in Hebrew, you will hear the word ohel, which means tent, and you will hear the word mishkan, which means sanctuary. And with this song, it's at the beginning of many Jewish prayer services, we are moving from the mundane, ordinary world of the tent, the ohel, into the sacred space of the mishkan. And you'll hear these words. We're moving from the Ohel to the Mishkan in this song. Matavu Ohalecha Yaakov Mishkanotecha for the first time ever, the Jewish prayer shawl. And this will be to wrap you in the fringed garment, a beautiful sign of protection, always walking in the presence of God. And it's a reminder that you are always in the presence of God. So here is the talus, and I want you to come right around to here, and Steve is going to bequeath this beautiful prayer shawl to you. And then you're going to say the prayer after me. here. Let's see if this you can look at me and you're going to repeat right after me. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kidshan Vomitzvotav Vitzivanu Lehitatev Batzitzit Melissa has just said thank you to the source of all for inspiring me to wrap myself in the fringed garment. And now, Alyssa, we're going to walk back over here. I invite you to rise in body or in spirit. So if it's not comfortable to stand, feel free to sit as we offer the call to worship. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Le'olam Ba'ed Please be seated. We are drawing from all of the prayer services through the course of a week and through the course of a day and we're doing a confluence of prayer that includes Torah reading because in Judaism we do have times and places for each particular prayer, for each particular melody, for when we read Torah, but it's always good to pray, and it's always good to read Torah. So we're doing this in a way that just pulls from all that's out there, and here we are now. And Steve is going to offer the Shema and the Ve'aha. Come on, then. 
Shema Israel Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kavod Malkuto Le'olam Ba'el Yahavta et Adonai Elohecha Bekolivavcha Ukol Nafshecha Ukol Miyodecha Behayum Hadivarim Ha'ele Asher Anachi Mitzavcha Hayom Alevavecha Beshinatan Levanecha Vidibarta Bam Beshitecha Bavetecha Uvlech Pecha Vaderech Uvshach Pecha Uvkunecha Uksartam Liot Ayadecha Behayula Totafot Benecha Uvchatam al mezuzot betecha uvisharecha leman tiskeru vasitem et kolam tzvotai yem item kedoshim elohechem ani Adonai elohechem. Asher hotzeiti et chem mi'eretz mitzrayim lihot lechem Elohim ani Adonai Elohechem. Wholeheartedness, love Adonai God your God with all your heart with all your soul with all your might. Set these words upon your heart. Let them wait there patiently until in a receptive mood, your heart opens and then they can enter. Teach them to your children. Speak of them when you sit by the fire and when you walk on the road, when you lie down and when you rise up. Bind them as a sign upon your hand and as four scrolls between your eyes. Write them on the doorpost of your house and upon your gates, that you may remember and do all of my commandments, and be holy to your God. I am Adonai, your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that I might be your God. I am Adonai, your God. So Steve has just shared with us a biblical quote that is the source of all Jewish education. Did you hear, teach this to your children? Teach it to your children. So Steve has just shared with us from this biblical quote, the source of all Jewish education, teach it to your children when you lie down, when you get up. And make it a sign so that your hands do good deeds and your head thinks good thoughts and good intentions. Direct your head and your hands towards the good in this world. You also heard in that very same paragraph, you know the mezuzah that goes, it's a little um, item on the doorpost of many Jewish homes. That's where it comes from, is that biblical paragraph. So much in there, so much. Very central prayer in Judaism. And now we are going to move into a moment of silent meditation that's at the core of every Jewish prayer service. So I'm gonna invite you to stand in body or in spirit this is a time surrounded by community, song, and prayer to find the prayer of your own heart. If you'd like to close your eyes, it's just a moment of silence. You can go inside and find your own prayer. For this moment of meditation. Please be seated. 
in addition to there being some silence here, some meditative moments, there's also a text, and the first paragraph of the text connects us to the generations of ancestors. The prayer is actually called a vote, ancestors. And Alyssa is going to share this prayer now. You will hear the names of some of the founding ancestors of Judaism, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Leah, and Rachel. You'll hear their Hebrew names here. I bet you'll be able to tell who's who. And Alyssa is going to chant this prayer that connects us to the chain of generations. This section of our service always ends with a prayer for peace. And so I'm going to teach a prayer for peace because doesn't this world just desperately need peace? So these words are sim shalom, grant peace. And it continues with grant peace, goodness, and blessing. And we're just going to do it a few times. Send it out to all the four corners of the world. Send it deep into our hearts. Send it to our families. Send it to each other. It goes like this. Sim shalom tova uvracha chen v'chesed uvrachamim. Sim shalom, sim shalom, sim shalom, sim shalom. 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 Sim shalom, tova uvracha, chen v'chesed uvrachamim. Sim shalom, 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 sim shalom. Grant peace, goodness, and blessing. And now it is time for our Torah service. comfortable for you to rise in body or if you'd like to rise in spirit out of respect for the Torah one way or the other. En kamocha va Elohim Adonai ve'en kamasecha malchut echa malchut kol olamin umem shaltecha bechol dor vador Adonai Melech, Adonai Malach, Adonai Yimloch Le'lam V'en, Adonai Oz Le'amo Yitain, Adonai Yivaret Et Amo V'ashalom. And now I'd like to invite grandparents Dove and Linda to come forward, or one or the other of you, to uncover the Torah, which is the equivalent of taking it out of the ark. 
Ahamim, you can do it now. Hey, Tiva Virtsonecha, Etzion. Tivne Chomot Yerushalayim. Tivne Chomot Yerushalayim. Kivecha levad batachnu Melech el ram venisa adon olamim Now we're going to do a generational passing of the Torah from our elders. You can stand at this far end facing your community. And we're going to call... Let's see, Steve and Denise up also, and Alyssa, you're going to take your side, you're, you're going to come over here and stand right there facing your community, and you're, Denise, you're over here facing your community, and Alyssa, you're the youngest generation, so you're at the end, beautiful, and Steve is actually going to lift up the Torah here, turn around, so you guys are facing your community, that way. Wonderful. And then, Steve, you can kind of come around. Um, yeah. You have to back up a little bit. You can come shoulder to shoulder right next to me. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Good job. You're gonna, Steve's going to start with the oldest generation here. Yeah, he knows. It. And Denise, you can come right close here so it's on one. Perfect. As the Torah comes to a rest in Alyssa's arms, you can be seated. Grandparents can be seated and get ready to lead us in the Shema. The one sentence Shema, and we're all going to repeat it after the grandparents. Now, while you get ready to say the Shema, I want to say to Alyssa, this big heavy scroll we have just deposited in your arms it's not just a book it's not just a big heavy thing this see how exciting this is <laughs> we have a chorus here of doggies and birds what we are giving to Alyssa today is all of the wisdom and stories and values all of the teachings of Judaism and we put it into Alyssa's hands today because we know you will carry it into the future. And we entrust this legacy now that you have inherited. We trust it in your hands to carry it into the future. Beautiful. You ready with the Shema? Okay. Well, we're going to repeat it. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Thank you. Now Alyssa is going to bring the Torah through the community, figure eight. And everyone can feel free to reach out and connect with the Torah. Some people like to touch it, kiss it. And here she comes. Oops. Right down there. Yai 
Now, even though it looks like Alyssa is standing right next to me here, I am going to call her up for this spiritual ascent to her first aliyah, her first calling up to the Torah ever on her bat mitzvah day. Ta'amod habat mitzvah, aliyah habat mitzvah, devora dodi bat shlomo vabina, aliyah habat mitzvah. Now here is Alyssa here. And now we're going to have the community offer the Aliyah prayer, which is in your booklets. And then Alyssa is going to offer it. And let's see, Alyssa is already right here with her tables. So community, you can join me. Baruchu et Adonai Hamvorach. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Le'olam Ba'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Le'olam Ba'ed. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Bachar Banu Mikol HaAmim, Vematan Lanu Et Torato, Baruch Ata Adonai, Notein HaTorah. Baruch Adonai Hamburah, Baruch Adonai Hamburah, Baruch Adonai Hamburah, Baruch Adonai Baruch Adonai the community will also do the closing Aliyah prayer. Are we ready? Together. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam 
I share not on the new Torah and met the Chaye Olam Nata Vitokenu Baruch Ata Adonai No Tain Torah. And now Alyssa is going to share some teaching about the Torah. My Torah portion is called the Ha'ar This is the portion I was read the week I was born. It is found in the book of Numbers, chapter 8, verse 1, to chapter 12, verse 16. The Ha'ar Techa translates to when you step up. The portion takes place in the desert after the Israelites escape from slavery in Egypt, but before they reach the promised land. A lot happens in this portion, but the part that is most meaningful to me is when Moses feels overwhelmed and frustrated, so God sends helpers from the community so he doesn't have to lead alone. Moses is frustrated because people are complaining to him about always having to eat the same thing for a whole year. Moses does not know what to do. He feels like it is unfair. He has to leave them alone, and he does not know how to make them happy. He is only doing what God tells him to, and he feels it is not enough. This is when Moses complains to God, and God helps him find a solution, which is to gather 70 helpers, who God fills with spirit so they are willing to help. God also increases Moses' spirit so he is happy and can be a better leader. This story is a good reminder that you can turn to your friends, family, and community to help get through difficult times. The last two years of the pandemic have brought many challenges. For example, when it first started, people lost their jobs, schools shut down, and people had to stay home and isolate. And this was a very hard time for a lot of people, but everyone came together to make it easier. They donated to food pantries, found ways to help people in need, and figured out how to stay in contact with friends, family, and classmates, even from your own home. When our family had a terrible loss, so many people showed up for us with food, flowers, and comfort. For my service project, I wanted to do something to help veterans. Many Vietnam veterans were drafted into the war and didn't have a choice about whether they wanted to go or not. During the war, they saw many terrible things which stayed with them and gave them nightmares and PTSD for the rest of their lives. Some got physical injuries that they had to live with for their whole lives, and some developed health problems later in life from the chemicals used in Vietnam. Either way, this war was very hard for every one of them, and when they got home, they were not even appreciated. They were spit out and called names. Considering this, I decided to make care packages that give them the welcome home they never got. The packages will include activity books, playing cards, fluffy socks, and chocolate chip cookies. There will be a card to thank them for their service and appreciate them. We will also restock the refreshment cart at the Veterans Hospital with take up tea bags, cups, and snacks. Thank you, Rabbi Dewey, for teaching me and helping me learn my push and prayers. And Mom, for always making time for me and everything you do for me. Thank you, Dad, for making me laugh and making everything you do possible. Thank you, Grandma, for letting us use your house and for being so thoughtful and generous. Thank you all for coming to Bar Bar Mitzvah even from far away. I love that talk. And if you would just leave it on the table here so people can come and take a look at some point if they wanted to see more what you said. That was beautiful. And now I want to invite the parents to come on up because they have some words to say to you. Welcome to Alyssa's Bat Mitzvah 2022. <laughs> My wonderful wife and I wanted to thank all the guests who showed up from near and far, some as far away as Florida, just to be here today. Uh, you did incredible today. You and Mom are both extremely, extremely proud of you, and you're with them. And hopefully, you'll be able to cast some of your. Continue to learn and continue to um, 
grow into a new wonderful adult. Uh, these last two and a half years have been a challenge, a challenge for each and every one of us. The challenges will not stop, and more will come every day. But after what I've seen you do with the Torah and your Botnitsa project, and even if it's difficult, you're going to be just fine. <coughs> Congratulations. I love you. And <coughs> You are my favorite daughter. Call <laughs> 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 the grandparents too. Just a little blessing. Could the grandparents come up? I'm so proud of you. I know this was challenging and stressful, right? And you did a great job and you worked through it. You made up your mind that you wanted to do a hard thing, and you did it. I'm so proud of you. I love you so much. Thank you all for coming. Here, I can bring this. I'll bring it to you. We thank you, God, for the yep. gift of this moment to witness our grandchild, grandchild called to the Torah as a, as a bat mitzvah. Congratulations. You did a wonderful job. May God spread God's sheltering presence over you and protect you. May you know great joy, happiness, and fulfillment in your life. Oh. May you walk with your people as you in pride. And may you understand that to be a Jew is a source of joy and meaning and an important responsibility. May you honor your parents, recognizing that they have brought you into the world in love and in hope, and may you bring them a great joy. May you can go from strength to strength, yet always be able to accept your own weaknesses and those of others. May you always keep a precious part of yourself as a child, even as when you move into adulthood. May you live in a world blessed with peace and harmony, and may your future be as bright and hopeful as the world's first rainbow. And let us all say, Amen. 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 Okay, well, Alyssa, I have some words to say to you, too, of course. Yeah, I was so proud of you for really taking on this challenge and deciding you were going to do it, and here you've done it. So I want to offer a little teaching from your Torah portion, Baha'u'llah which actually means kindle that light, kindle the light. And it's about, you know, there was this sibling family, Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. They were the brothers and the sister, Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. So this kindling of the light back then, like raising up the light, was the, what Moses got to do. Moses got to light the lights in the ancient temple. But then Aaron said, and this is stories from our sages in Midrash, Aaron said, hey, why does Moses get to raise up the light? What do I get to do? He got all the, the good stuff. He gets to light the lights in the temple. So the sages, the rabbis over the generation said, no, Aaron, what, here's what you got, Aaron. What you got to do was once there was no more temple, 
You got to let the light shine through the mitzvahs. Like that's how you give light to the world, is through the good deeds of the world. Through the good deeds, which are continuing unto this day. So that was Aaron's job. But then in your Torah portion, Miriam says, the sister says, hey, that's not very fair. Moses and Aaron are getting all the credit here. I'm a, I'm a leader too, basically. Why are they the ones written about in the Torah? Miriam doesn't get very much time and attention back then. She wanted the teaching and the mitzvah and everything, the light, to flow through her. Well, many generations later, about 100 years ago, we, we started to listen to what to Miriam's voice from way back then, thousands of years ago, and about a hundred years ago, Alyssa, the first bat mitzvah was celebrated. Finally, it started to be made fair for the girls and the women in the family. And the bat mitzvah got invented. Before that, there were just bar mitzvahs for boys. So we had Moses started that light. Aaron got to channel it through the mitzvahs. Miriam got to channel it also into this 50% of the Jewish people. And today that light still is flowing through you, Alyssa, through your mitzvahs, your good deeds, because today you become one of the people, one of the circle of Jewish adults responsible for those good deeds of the world. And I know you're going to do a great job as part of that, that circle. Now, in the old days, she would be a grown-up tomorrow. She could go out and get married. She would take on the responsibilities of a working woman, mostly in the home. But these days, it's more like you're becoming a teenager. And you know, you're going to this next chapter of life. And we're launching you into that. And that is a wonderful thing, because we know you will be channeling all those generations and all of that light that got lifted up in your Torah portion. We're going to return the Torah now to its ark, its covering. And Steve, I'm going to ask you to come join me here and to um, help put its garments back on this, on her. We call the Torah a she. First, here, I'll do this part. And then, there we go. Okay, we're going to So we can do the same um, pressing down. And if you can press, Steve, if you can press down and I'll put this back on. Dressing the Torah here. And you can adjust that. Oops, yes. There we go. Just adjust it so that it looks like and we cover it with the The Zota Torah share some Moshe. Leaf Nebene Israel Alpi Adonai Beyad Moshe Eitzchayim He Lamachazikim Ba Vetom Cheha Meyushan Derachecha Darchei Noam Vichol Nativotecha Shalom Ashiveinu Adonai Elecha Venashuva Chadesh Chadesh Yameinu Chadesh Yameinu Kekeh You can sit down for just a moment right over there at last. And we are now just going to offer a few closing prayers and song. One of them is an essential prayer. We can't go forward in life without carrying the memories of those who have come before with us. And today we especially want to remember Richard Quinn, Ariel Novick, Rosa Novick, Jeremy Novick, and Betty Masano as we say the Kaddish prayer.
Feel free to rise in body or in spirit for this prayer of remembrance. Yit gadal v'yit kadash shamei rabah v'yalma divrach yuter v'yamuich mach yuter b'chai chon v'yom echon v'chayei l'chol b'et Yisrael b'galah v'zman kariv v'imru Yehesh me rabba mevarach l'alam o'me almaya Yit barach v'yishtabach v'yit ba'ar v'yit ramam v'yit naseh v'yit hadar v'yit halal v'yit hala Shmei d'kudsha v'yichu l'elam in kol b'chata v'shirata Tish b'chata v'nechamata d'amiran b'elma v'imru Yehesh lama rabba min shamayim v'chayim aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru Ose shalom b'mramav Priya say shalom aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'al kol Rosh v'tevel v'imru Amen Please be seated Those beloved people live through us now as we carry their memories forward. Oh, Jose Shalom Bimrama. Oh, yeah, I say Shalom Aleinu. Hey, I'll call you Israel. The Inru, Inru, Amen. Yeah, I say Shalom. Yeah, I say Shalom. Shalom Aleinu V'yalko Yisrael Ya'ase Shalom Ya'ase Shalom Shalom Aleinu V'yalko Yisrael Ya'ase Shalom Ya'ase Shalom Shalom Aleinu V'yalko Yisrael Ya'ase Shalom Ya'ase Shalom Shalom Aleinu V'yalko Yisrael Israel. We're going to bless or say blessings over the wine and the beautiful challah bread. Wine always represents in Judaism the overflow of joy and abundance. And what joy and abundance today, Alyssa? You have brought all these people together in joy and abundance. So I'm going to ask Alyssa and her immediate family. So then, hmm. The cousins are going to say it from there. They're going to say it, but I'm going to have your family. Um, can Ben move? Can he hobble? Steve, can you give him an arm there? Over there, and he can sort of like a crutch, and then he can... Let's see if that works. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, and you can put Alyssa right in the middle. Well, let's, Alyssa, why don't you come here? You be in the middle. And Ben can come alongside, and Dad can come alongside. And you're going to face your community, Ben, right there, facing your community. There you go. Okay, Alyssa. Oh, this is a heavy plate. You know what? I'm just going to give you the bread. You take the bread and face your community. Okay. And, Ben, is that going to work out? Okay, you want a chair? We can put a chair up here. What do you think? Are you good? Okay, who's going to hold the, this? Yeah, can you hold that? And everyone stand right up next to each other here. Scoot over, Alyssa, scoot over. Wonderful. Okay, now cousins, Samuel, Daniel, Josiah, Ben, Sarah, and Eva are going to lead us in first the Kiddush and then the Motzi. And everyone can feel free to join in. Kiddush first. And you can take a sip of that on behalf of everybody, Alyssa. And Motsi. Amen. Thank you to the source of all for giving us fruit of the vine and the bread from the earth. Amen. And now, Alyssa, you can break off a piece and give it to eat, put a little tiny piece into each family member's mouth. And whoever's taking pictures can get some good pictures now. This is a moment. <laughs> okay. Whoops.
okay, if you don't want to eat, you can put it on the table behind you. <laughs> Very good. Oh, not that piece. The doggy's going to have a good dinner tonight. <laughs> okay, now, Alyssa and family, I have a blessing for your family. Alyssa, these are your people. You know families go through a lot of changes, right? People come in, people go out. That's what happens in life. Families go through changes, and these are your people. So take a minute to look at these people. These are the ones who adore you, have your back. That one over there too, all the way over there, yes. And now out here, more family, beaming back affirmation at you on this special day of your coming of age. And so I want to offer the blessing to you that you will always turn towards each other. Whatever you have to go through, you will turn towards each other and support each other. And in honor of that, I'm going to say a blessing that is said for new and good things. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, shehechianu, v'kiyamanu, v'hegianu, lazman hazeh. Thank you to the source of all for nourishing us, sustaining us, and allowing us to reach this moment. Amen. Amen. Now we have a little fun moment. I'm going to invite some cousins, little cousins, to come on up to sprinkle candy on Alyssa as she we wish her a very sweet path into this next stage of life. So everyone can sit down except for Alyssa and, let's see, I'm going to get you the candy in just a minute. I'm going to tell you when. The Quinn cousins, Mia, Cameron, and April. It's, it's one of those Cameron's, not, uh, Cameron's not there, but are they passing down? Or are they well, no, they're going to they're going to sprinkle it. So just a second. Yeah. Alyssa, you're going to kneel right down here, facing your community. You can do it in the grass if it's too hard there. Here, do you want, here Alyssa, want to put this under your knee? You can kneel along the sill there as well. Now you two, when I get you to go in, you stand right next to Alyssa, one on each side. Run out here a little more. Oh, with our hands? With your hands, but okay. very gently. If you come really close, come close. Are you Quinn? Are you Quinn? No. Cameron? No. What's Mia. Your? Mia. Mia. Okay. Yeah. I didn't yes. get this right. Okay. Good. Are we ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Start the sprinkling very gently over yes. her head, and then you can collect it and eat it. Whoa. <laughs> Okay. Wonderful. Greg's not finished. April's not finished. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's great. And now, Alyssa, you can stand up and you guys can sit down. Thank you so much. That was great. And I have a final song for Alyssa, which Alyssa learned in class. And after this song, everybody can scoop up candy and eat it. So Alyssa, you could maybe come right here and stand next to me for this song. These are the words that our very first Jewish ancestors, Abraham and Sarah, heard God saying, go on a journey. And in the Hebrew, it's actually go on a journey to find yourself. And through that journey, Judaism was born. It was a journey to create and birth Judaism. Abraham and Sarah all the way to this generation, and here's their song with words that mean go on a journey to find yourself from the Bible. Lechilach, to a land that I will show you. Lech lecha, to a place you do not know. Lechilach, to a land on all your, I will bless you. And you shall be a blessing, and you shall be a blessing, and you shall be a blessing. Lechilach. Alyssa, today you are the blessing on your journey for your family. Mazel tov to Alyssa and her family, and thank you each and every one of you for being here.
as her circle of witness and welcome. Mazel tov! Kids can come and collect candy. It's good. We need some vacuum cleaners here before the doggy eats it all. I actually think it's not good for doggies. Let the celebration continue now. Thank you all. Muzzle tub. I did. I haven't seen you the one who's giving the candy. You want a picture of this guy? So. This week, <laughs> yeah, look at Wait, I have a really good one. I love that. I love that. I'm like the only person here. Thank you so much. My brother in law has. Church in 1992. Yes. Yes. All the That's tables are out here. So where are the tables go? Yeah. The tables are just for eating, not for serving. Oh, okay. So the Presbyterian Church in New Town. You're jogging my memory. That's that's something. And here you are. I know the Hanukkah. Well, that's amazing. I like that. You know, I don't remember every single ceremony in person because I've done a lot of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. This is great. Oh, I think I'm going to eat in Canada. Yeah. Oh, you were recording all the time?